Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are playing more Viscera Cleanup Detail. Uh, in the previous level, as far as I can tell, we got rid of most of the larger chunks of people. And uh, now I think it's going to be time to grab as many smaller bits as we can and throw them in these waste disposal buckets. What happened there? Alright, things are happening in there. I should probably just go with this one. Alright, so now the name of the game is Small Waste Disposal Buckets. And filling them with the smaller bits. While trying to be careful not to bust any lamps. You know, I'm gonna put you up on the bar the buck box? Whatever that device is. I think there might be an easter egg in this level too, but I have no idea where it would be. Shit. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I should look for that after I've done all kinds of cleaning. Is that... That might be an eye. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird little bit. Uh, put you there. Alright. Um... Trying to see offhand if there's any floor markings to pay attention to. But I don't see any yet. I'm really just throwing these barrels over here to get them out of the way. Because that'll make it easier to move in and out of different sections. It's already getting kind of full. There we go. I think this is the first level where they've suggested that uh, other janitors have been sent into this area and have not done a very good job of living afterward. Uh, this one's getting kind of full. Might as well throw a flare in there. Alright. I think this one's full enough to uh, throw in the furnace now. I think it's probably... oh, bullet casings. It's probably a good idea to work... Come here. To work from, uh... One... From the far end toward the furnace. Because that way... If... Uh... If I do drop something, or something bounces out, then at least it's not too far away from where it has to... I'm getting occasional skips, but I'm not sure. 
Like, things seem safe enough. And I am still recording. Is that all of them? Oh, there's a lamp down there. I was wondering where that light was coming from. I think that's every... Well, no, we've got a couple more here. I'm not really sure what the use of the flares is. Because, um, as far as I know, like the lanterns, they cause, like, burns. And if that's. Ah, uh, shit. I want you to go in this way. Hi. Um, there's another head. I think one more decently sized piece. Ah, those are probably too big. You know what? I'll give you an upper arm. I'm gonna send you off with your bicep. I am currently halfway through the Blaze of Glory achievement, which I can only assume is burning separate things in a furnace. Damn it. So this, I think, is part of uh, what makes this level a little more unique and difficult, is... Um, these little tunnels here are tight enough that you can't really grab one of these um, biohazard buckets and um, use your words. You can't really grab one of these buckets and then also turn around Let's put the foot up this way. So you kind of... You kind of have to... Back your way into these tunnels. With your bucket. And then uh, go and drop the stuff. Uh, one more shotgun shell. Oh, there's a flare. Yeah, one of the options you can turn on is, um, or turn off, rather, is the highlighting of items when you have them centered on your screen. So that should be that tunnel completed. Alright, so now to back my way in here. I wonder if there is a limit to how much um, because oh, the more you walk on blood and such, the more you have to later... Uh, come on, get in the bucket. The more you walk on blood, the more you later on have to kind of walk your boots dry, if that makes any sense. Oh.
so I wonder if you could just like walk on blood and such forever and then be trailing bloody footsteps for as much time. Uh, any more bullets? We've got a intestine of sorts. Uh, we've got that log file. Dios mio. Another leg chunk. I think we're reaching critical mass with this bucket of fun for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need another bucket. There's there's too much Spanish cleaning person over here. With that being said, it should be just the one bucket left for that uh, for that particular tunnel. That's fine. Right. Back my way in again. Uh, that was probably a big enough chunk that I should have carried it off myself earlier. But I should be able to fit the rest of uh, Aldea's meaty bits into the bucket. Almost missed that. Alright, I think there's two flares in there. I'm not seeing anything else lighting up. As, as far as I know, the, um... The bad stuff can't... Like, blood and whatnot can't get past those grates. Because then it would be easy to put yourself into a, uh kind of unwinnable situation. Is that...? Did I...? No, I don't think I went down that tunnel yet, so... We should... be good here and here. Um... How about down here? We got any bullets? We got a flare. Damn it. I said we got a flare. And a toilet seat lid. Am I gonna have to schlep this toilet seat lid all the way over myself, or can I like do the diagonal with it. Hey, that worked. Angle it. Oh, that's contrary to the other angle. How about this way? Sweet. Alright. Uh, no more little fiddly bits I don't see. I don't know what I'm going to have to do with that lid. I can get a few more shotgun shells and whatnot into this bucket before I have to worry about burning it up. Uh, but can I get an alien leg? Hey! Uh, 7,000 out of 20,000 for the pedestrian achievement now. So somehow, somehow, I have made 
150 steps in the past couple videos, at least. Uh, nothing down there. Oh, that's a busted one. Oh, that's the one that I busted. Yeah. Will it stay? Probably not. Nope. I'll grab that in a minute. There's too many damn flares. stuff in here to grab, but... Where was it all? Oh, there's some. I do have some uh, other simulator style games planned for the channel in the future. Uh, though most of them are a little more, I guess you could say realistic than this. Do you have anything else or is it just Jacques Gorm? Uh, I'm going to run that over right now because I think it's the last one in the level. And you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to put in the med kits now. Alright, that one's done. Fairly sure there was one other. Was it over here? Yeah, it was. All right, all kinds of body parts and bits over here too. Shit. I'm going to go find that now before I lose where it went off to. There it is. This level's stairs right there are not the best. I can actually fit a little more. You prove me wrong, game. We also have Tom Kersko. Now, back when I played um, the Christmas version of this game, I did write down the names and forms of death of every uh, cause of death of every dead body that I found with every, uh, what do you call it, name tag? Uh-oh. You sons of a bitch. I didn't know it gave that many. I wonder if that's specific to this level or if they did an update, because... I'm used to one body... Son of a bitch. Where'd it go? There was a body part on the floor. Wasn't there? Anyway, um, I'm used to a single body part coming out of these, not a whole bunch. Oh. There's just one body part that is stuck through the side now. Uh, throw 
a bit more in there. I'm gonna fill this bucket up as best I can. You know what? That's probably it. Alright. Um, I'm gonna grab another bucket and head off to... Son of a bitch! You can hear when the machine is messing up. Come here, you. Back in you go. And then we are taking a hard left. Alright, so... This is going to be the section I start in in the next video, but it looks like we're out of time now. So, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.